Scorpio, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we're going to pull some messages that are going to help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit. All of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We're going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, Scorpio, the universe has a reminder for you. So write this down in the comments below to let the universe know that you are listening. I am a powerful creator. I am a powerful creator. Write this down in the comments right now because this is something that you can never forget because a lot of the times, us beautiful souls here, forget that we are in a game that is created by the power of what we think about. Now, why this is important is because if you think about things that are happening right now that don't feel good, nor look good, nor anything you want to be a part of, but you think about it, well, your life is going to become that, you see? So if you think about poverty, you're going to get poverty. If you think about needing to lose weight, you're going to you know, be fat, you know what I mean? It's just how it is. We're, that's what we get, what we focus on. So at the end of the day, if you want to create the life you want, which we highly recommend you do because you are a powerful creator, you've got to start tuning in to the subconscious, okay? Your imagination. This means that you want to sit in a space where you are disconnected from the thinking mind. So it could, perhaps this could be where you create some art for yourself and creating art. Everyone's art is, is DIY. Like my art would be exercise because when I'm exercising, I'm attuned to my physical body. I'm trying new things. I'm not thinking about anything. I'm like with me and my physical body and we're, you know, kind of a team like doing stuff. You know what I mean? So maybe it is actually drawing art, right? Maybe it is creating art. Maybe it's exercise for you. Maybe it's maybe like, for instance, if you were like an architect, maybe it's designing something, right? But it's kind of like wherever you're in that flow state, you're kind of just lost in whatever it is you're doing. You're not the rest of the world kind of fades away. That's going to be your art. And so the more that we spend time in that, that presence, that energy, and we use, and we start to kind of daydream, right? We start to kind of daydream because remember, we want you to play in the energies of what you want, not what is. What is, is already the past. You see, the past is what is. And in order for us to align our today's choices with where we want to go, we have to be thinking about where we want to go so that when we make a decision, it aligns, right? We want to align with where we're going, not align with things here because nothing will align. And that's why it feels so stressful and resistancy because we're not folks. We don't want any of this stuff. What? Take your poverty. What? Take your bad relationship. What? Take your fat. You know what I mean? We don't want this. We want to go align with where we're going. And so in order to do that, we have to visualize what we want, the dream, your dream body, how your lifestyle is going to be like, what you uh, are, are kind of called to do, right? You just want to be honoring what you love and be really attuned to what it is that you love, right? So your work's not going great right now. You're fighting with your coworkers. You got some toxic energy in the business. Great. If you focus on it, it's only going to enhance. And then you're going to take that lower frequency that you've just matched and mirrored because whatever we focus on, we match and mirror. So you're going to match that frequency and then you can bring that home to your family, right? And then someone's going to say something. You're going to snap at them. They're going to snap at you back. And then now that low frequency is in your house. It's like, ew, right? It's like bringing your dirt home, right? It's like, so we have to always understand this. Whatever we focus on, we will mirror that energy. We will mimic it. We will hold it with us because we won't realize what we're doing, right? And so in order to eliminate that, we have to be a very powerful creator and be thinking only about the timeline of where we are going. When that happens, we are in the frequency of love, unconditional love, because we feel the power of alignment because we re recognize, oh yeah, now that feels good. That feels good. That's something that I really want to do. That's something that I could really get my, my head behind. And the only reason why we would ever think something and it feels resistance in the future, like I can't get that is because you're putting too much detail into it. You got to get more general then you got to get more general then, right? Like, because otherwise we'll get too attached to that outcome you see so again it's not it doesn't matter what's happening right now because what what's happening right now has already been thoughts that you've thought about from before right so you really want to be mindful about getting clear about what your future looks like and 
and having your playing in this realm. And that's why we say have a morning routine, have an evening routine where the energy is very calm. Your mind hasn't been active. That's why the morning time is the best because our minds haven't been active all day. So we sit with ourselves in this calm energy where we are able to just sit with ourselves in this kind of med meditative, blissful state where you just think about what things would you actually want your life to look like if this was a perfect world, which it could be. You could create the perfect world for yourself. It's always about what we think about. What we can see here is that there has been a disconnection from your conversation with your higher self, which is leaving you feeling like you don't believe in yourself, a lack of confidence, low self-esteem. But beautiful soul, you get to choose what way your life goes. You get to choose this. This is on you, beautiful soul. And you get to create whatever you want. The perfect body, career, uh, husband, wife, whatever you want. How much money you have in your bank account. But you've got to let go of focusing truly on what are the things that you are noticing right now. Because then that's going to be in your awareness. Like play a little game with yourself. This came from Tony Robbins. If you look around your room and you look for everything that is brown, right? What's brown? What's brown? Look for the brown. All the things brown. Okay. Now what's green? Well, you don't know because you didn't see it, right? So at the end of the day, it's like, well, shut, right? We got to start looking for the things we want to see because we'll see what we choose to see. So if you choose to see the lack in your life, that's all you will see. And then your life will manifest nothing but lack, nothing but, 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 but low, right? And when we're in that low vibrational state, we attract in poverty. It's a poverty consciousness, right? It's a fear-based consciousness. Poverty is fear, right? If you're still living without means, it's because you're focusing on the things that bring you fear. And beautiful soul, whatever we focus on, remember, we mirror that energy. So you're going to feel that fear. Then you're going to be making fear-based decisions, right? And then you're going to bring that fear low frequency home with you. And then the house is going to be infected with fear, right? The kids feel it. They don't know what's going on. They just know they got to get out of that house. They, they, they hate their parents. Get me out of here. They're uncomfortable, right? I and mean, they don't know what it is. It's just that energy, you see. So everything is energy here. Everything, 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 everything. And so when you feel icky inside of you, what are you thinking about? Are you stuck in the what is? Or are you consciously, deliberately creating what you want, you see? So right now we see that there is a disconnection, again, from your true self, your true higher self with that seven of swords, king of swords in reverse. So again, you're not feeling like you're living your truth. You feel like your life is a one big lie. You're like, everything's a joke. I'm not liking how anything is going. Maybe you're feeling betrayal at your work. Maybe you're feeling betrayal with yourself. Maybe you're just feeling that sense of like something's wrong, right? And it is wrong. And it's wrong because you're focusing on the wrong, but it's not the truth. It's not actually the truth, you see. That is all, it's conditioning, right? It's just conditioning, right? We're conditioned to, you know, fix problems instead of seek the solution, right? So whatever we focus on, we'll get. So if you seek out the solution, you'll always receive a solution, but you've got to have yourself grounded in that, in, in your, in the awareness that, ah, I'm feeling not good right now. I need to raise my frequency. Most likely I've been focusing on what is or a problem. Instead, I need to go and raise my frequency, get right with myself. And then the solution will become more clear. You could, there, there's a few things that you can do, right? First one is having a higher self practice where you're able to connect to the, your, your inner voice, your inner guidance, uh, through uh, practice journaling, scripting, right? Uh, positive aspects, uh, anything that you want to have happen in your life. And sometimes it's easier for us to write it down um, in the beginning. Always write it down, but in the beginning, especially. Um, sometimes it's nice for us to be around comforting frequencies. So spending time with animals. Sometimes when I'm kind of just in a in-between phase, uh, it's happened to me where I will find myself just kind of looking at different dog breeds because I enjoy it. It kind of just is, is another way that I can kind of let go a little bit. So I'll just like research different dogs because there's no connection to that for me. It's just fun for me. I look, you know, play this game with myself. If I could get a dog right now, which dog breed would I get? You know, it's just fun. It's like just detaching from the reality of the world right and then but through that detachment I'm able to raise my frequency and that's when I'm going to be have clarity on something you see so it really doesn't matter what you do it really just matters about really prioritizing your frequency your feeling state and if you are in a low mood right a, a low mood it means that you've got to get yourself out of that low mood otherwise you're just going to attract things that mirror that low mood and you'll be seeing things that mirror that low mood which is just going to attract in more poverty and fear and we know that's the last thing you want right so in order to get out of that you got to start to prioritize focusing again on 
where you are going. And that means you've got to detach from the outside world, beautiful soul, and you've got to start connecting to yourself, singing your own song. It doesn't matter about what job, jo job, Joe, Bill, or, or Betty has anything to do with your life. No one has anything to do with your life but you. Only you know what your higher self is guiding you towards. And trust me, when you realign yourself with that, with who you really are, you're not going to give a damn about nobody because you're going to realize how cool you are and how you really only want to hang out with yourself. I promise you that. You and Sperry, like woohoo. And then once you kind of establish that connection again, then you're ready to open your heart to the rest of the world. That's why we always say reconnect to yourself first in order to attract love into your life because then you'll actually know that partner that you would like to share your life with. Now, your angel message for today is giving and receiving. Your angels say the entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation, meaning that if you give, 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 but do not give anything to yourself back, you will deplete your energy resources and you will be in a low mood and you will end up seeing things from that low frequency attracting in poverty. We use poverty because it's the one thing we do not want. We do not want to have not without. We want to be able to have a financially free life, right? But in order for us to get out of the energy that we're in, we have to focus on what we want to align our actions with what we want, right? Same thing when we only are receiving. If we're only just expecting things from others, right? Oh, I'll just expect them to pay for me. I'll just expect them to do it. Oh, if I just, you know, I'm really quiet, maybe they'll just take care of it for me. Then again, we're also uh, lowering our frequency, right? So true uh, balance is always about, um, you know, uh, taking action, seeing things uh, from a clear perspective, right? And if we have fears to do things and to take things on, it means we gotta clear that energy away from our energy body. That is a uh, stored emotion in the physical body. Uh, you can go on a cleanse, uh, cleanse the mind with meditation practices, cleanse the body with uh, smoothies or juice cleanses, something along those lines. Um, but something you are going to want to just be mindful of. If you ever feel emotional to, towards something, there's an indicator in there that that's stored trauma and you can breathe through it, right? You can walk it out. You can, you know, laugh with yourself. You can do lots of different things to clear that energy away, clear that trauma away, but there is going to be trauma in there that you'll want to deal with. Otherwise you'll stay in the same place, stay in the same low frequency. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like, and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby. Beautiful soul, I hope you enjoyed this video and it brought you some value. And if you wanna watch a really good video, check out these videos.